In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a rear bumper on this Chevy Silverado 2500. Let's get into it. Underneath, on the back side of the bumper, we wanna disconnect the wiring where the plate light is on the driver's side. You're just gonna grab the socket, twist it, slide it out. And you can see there's a connector right here. This goes to the trailer wiring. You want to disconnect this connector. Just push down on the tab. It's right there and it slides right out. With the trim tool, you're going to take the wire retainers off. And the same on the passenger side, plate light socket, just twist it, slide it out. Now all the wiring should be disconnected from the bumper. If your truck has a trailer hitch, you're gonna have to take these two rear bolts out. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Loosen these up. Take the two bolts out underneath. Use a 21 millimeter socket. Slide that out. And same on the other side. The two side bolts use a 21 millimeter socket on both sides. I'm going to loosen these first. Gonna leave this one in loosely, just a couple of threads, just so the bumper does not fall. And I'll take the other one out. Keep those in there. And we'll do the same on the other side. Threads and take the other one out. Now, with an assistant, you can both pull the bolt out and grab the bumper. And I'll slide it right out. On the back of this, there should be a cage that's on this and this vehicle doesn't have it. So you wanna get underneath there with a pick and just take the cage off and slide this piece out. That comes.
comes out like that. We'll transfer this over to the new one. Now we're going to transfer this plug over as well. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. There's a little lock right here. Flip that up and twist it to the right. And it slides down. Just move that over to the new one. And put the socket in the new one. Line it up. Lock it in place. Take this piece, line it up. And then take that retainer, slide it over, lock it in place. Take these foam pieces off. Those are just for shipping. And pick up the bumper. I'll twist it. These two ears are gonna line up in the slots. Tire, this tube that goes attaches to the end of that has to be lined up as well. There we go. All right. Now I'll get one of those bolts started on the side. Before we tighten those down, you want to get all the other bolts started just by hand. And the ones underneath. Started. Just go right there. There we go. That one's started. And the two for the trailer hitch. are all in. We're going to tighten those down. These two rear bolts, we're going to torque these to 103 foot-pounds. The two lower bolts going up from underneath, we're going to torque those to 74 foot-pounds. The bolts on the side, we're going to torque those to 83 foot-pounds. the wiring go underneath the plate light line that up twist to the right that's good 
Take the wire. You can see where the retainer is going to go right there. Slide that in place. Feed the rest of the wire through. And the retainers. Take the other plate light bulb and socket. Line that up. Twist that. Sure that's twisted in place. And the connector for the trailer hitch. Lock it down. And where the plate's gonna go, push these little fasteners in. Just like that. Just like that. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.